Grayson Plunkett, and this is FSN Now. With tip-off just around the corner, the Faulkner Athletic Department released the guidelines for attending basketball games this season. Here are members of our Faulkner basketball programs with all the details. We are blessed, blessed, blessed to have the most loyal fan base in our conference and the rabid fans that we have, and blessed to have the crowds that we have. But we only have 392 seats available this year right now with social distancing, and we want to do a great job with, uh, with what we're doing so that we can continue to, to play in front of fans. Uh, the first thing we want to talk about is our, our families. We want to prioritize our families, our team's family, and we want to prioritize our opponents' families. We've given one section to our opponents of 49 seats. Uh, we're going to do a ticket list and we're going to give that to our opposing coach. And our opposing coach, you're going to have to sign up with our opposing coach uh, to get on that ticket list. And when you come to the gym, they'll have that ticket list and it's $10 per ticket for our opposing families and you'll have a section right behind your bench. We're so thankful for our fans. We love our fans. We, we, we are a very unique situation where we are gonna to try to allow fans into our gym where a lot of, part of the parts of the country are not doing that. Please, please, please follow protocol. Please be masked up while you're in Tyne Davis Gymnasium. Uh, please be respectful to others. Um, please allow us to continue to have fans in the gym uh, for our games. Um, for families, when you're done with the game, we're asking that you go outside to congregate. Uh, we're asking you to go into the quad or out into the parking lot uh, or to places where you can go where you can congregate with your with your player, with the teammate, um, so that we don't clog up our lobbies and we don't get in a, in a situation where it becomes a, an event where a potential issues could, could arise. Again, we're so thankful for our fans. We want you here. Uh, I want you here. I know Scott wants you here, we all want you here, our players want you here, but please, please, please be responsible and give us an opportunity to continue to play in front of fans on a regular basis. Looking forward to another great basketball season upcoming uh, in the next few weeks and there's several protocols that we've got to follow and there are a lot of teams in the country that are not allowing fans to come to the games and, and we are, but we've got to be socially distant the correct way and our players are going to kind of give the guidelines of what we're going to do this year. Go Eagles. The doors open an hour before games. There's only 390 seats, so make sure you get here early, wear your mask, and we're going to take your temperature when you get to the door. All right. Once you come in, you're going to check in at this table. They're going to mark your name off on the pass list, and you can enjoy the game. All right, guys, once you check in, you'll take a left through this hallway where you go up the stairs and get your hand stamp. And after you get your hand stamp, you'll go to your section and enjoy the game. Once you get upstairs, there'll be someone to help you find your seat. Here's some of our men's players to help explain what student attendance will look like. When you guys come, you guys will come through these doors. The other doors will be locked. And when you come, you guys will take, we will take you guys' temperature. Enjoy the game. Once you guys come in the game, you come in, take a right, go up the steps, and wear your mask at all times so we can practice social distance. Enjoy the game. Have fun. All right, so once you guys get up the stairs, our seating is going to be across from the players. And we ask that you please don't remove the straps that are on the seats because of COVID protocols. And just always remember to keep y'all's mask up and enjoy the game. We want you guys to be at every game, but we can only do that if you follow the protocols. Go Eagles. The Faulkner basketball teams opened their seasons this week. Friday night at 6.30, the JV women's team will host Coastal Alabama at Tyne Davis Gymnasium. Scott Sanderson's men's basketball squad plays Friday at the Fresh Start Talladega Classic against Central Baptist and on Saturday against Missouri Baptist. Reed Sutton's women's varsity basketball program tips off their season Saturday at 7 p.m. against Pensacola Christian in Tyne Davis Gymnasium. The Faulkner women's soccer team has been busy as of late with back-to-back -back road games. This past weekend, they traveled to Life University to face the undefeated running Eagles. After a 90 minute rain delay, the Lady Eagles struck first with Ansley Lockwood scoring her first collegiate goal. But three quick unanswered goals by Life would put the game away with Faulkner falling 3-1. Tuesday, the Lady Eagles went to face Martin Methodist in a rematch from a game on October 13th. The 6-1 loss wasn't what the Lady Eagles were looking for. The lone goal came on this highlight reel moment from Martina Necrosis.
On Saturday, the Lady Eagles will play their final game before the spring on the road against Mobile. The Faulkner men's JV soccer team will play Thursday against Montgomery FC in their final game of the season. This week's Eagle Eye features our own Jacob O'Brien catching up with some of our Faulkner cheerleaders. The first one's why did you choose Faulkner? The second one's if you could play any other sport, what would it be and why? And the third one is how do you pass your time during the shutdown? Okay. Sure. sure. <laughs> First question, why did you choose Faulkner? Because I didn't want to move far from home. I'm from Montgomery, Alabama. Well, that's a pretty good answer. If you could play any other sport, what would it be and why? Softball, because um, I've played softball most of my life. <laughs> I just that's Another good answer. So, how did you pass your time during the quarantine and the shutdown? Um, I worked a lot, and I took some online classes and I was one of the unlucky ones to actually get COVID. <laughs> yeah. Sounds uh, sounds fun, and then it gets rough for a second. So, uh, <laughs> for answering those questions, and I hope you have a great day, and I hope you don't uh, contract it again. I don't know if you can, but uh, good luck. Uh, thanks. You too. <laughs> All right. Your first question is, why did you choose Faulkner? I chose Faulkner because it was close to home, and I just felt like it was where God was leading me to be. That's a great answer. Now, if you could play any other sport, what would it be and why? I would play softball because I played softball, softball for three years in high school. That's a great answer. So, how did you pass the time during your shutdown, quarantine, whatever you want to call it? The past time, I spent time with family, and I took some classes online. That's a great answer. So, thank you for uh, answering these questions, and I uh, hope you have a great day. With Faulkner basketball getting ready to tip off, here's a special look into both men's and women's basketball program presented by FSN Now's very own Cole Kelly. Coronavirus. The NCAA canceled its men's and women's basketball tournaments. The NAIA also called off winter championship events. Games and championships are being wiped off the calendar. A heightened awareness of the coronavirus abruptly ending championship dreams. Some years you hope to just go to the national tournament, you know, and then some years you feel like you have a team that's good enough to win it. And, um, this year we felt like we had the pieces that were good enough to, to actually win a national championship. Special crew would always be a, a special crew, but it'll always be a, a what if crew too. It'll always be, a, you know, what if we got to play in Kansas City? What if we got to go to the national tournament? It'll, there'll always be a little bit of that, you know, in the back of your mind. The first thing is, is that, you know, God is still God and he's on his throne. So, you know, if you keep that in mind at all times, you know, the rest of it, um, you can kind of be flexible and, and adjust to. Um, certainly the biggest challenge is we've missed being around our players.
Last time I whipped around, last time I did the whippers, last time I lived with first sport of brown, hit the reverend, last time I hit your crib, last time it went to tennis. I didn't went back in myself, felt like I risked it, pace yourself, how you living, know you thrilling, off a cement, how I got my stripes and pendants, back and out in the street, born this wild, let it be, rages out, gotta eat, not a vibe, but a way with the sound, by the way, kind of down by the days to myself, know that you get with the moves, I'm juke off the juice, no I'm juke. I be smooth then I lose it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until next time, I'm Grayson Plunkett, and this is FSN Now. <laughs>